Is it recording? Are we recording? Okay, we're recording. Okay, I think this lighting is horrible. Okay, first of all, I haven't even showered. My hair is a mess. My bed's a mess. I literally am working from home today. And I got a notification that you guys can see right there. It says a new forbidden limited list is arriving. Now, I haven't taken a look. I kind of saw like the main picture, which is kind of upsetting. But I'm really excited because we have a ban list, which is so soon. Because our last ban list, what, took effect in October? Like early October? So the fact that we're going to have an, a, a new ban list and it says that it's going to take effect December 1st, which is like what, October, let's just say it was like October, like, you know, early October, right? So October, November, this is like two months, like we've been playing on a two month list, which is crazy, but let's get right into it. And this is what I saw. Okay. I can't even give you guys a real reaction because I saw this mystic mine is finally banned. Finally. Now I feel like they did this. However, I feel like low key, even though, don't get me wrong, I completely agree with this hit. I want this to happen. But the only other card banned is Curious. Now, Curious is weird because Curious was really popular with the danger stuff when a tier was using a lot of the danger stuff. So you can make the Curious and the Fairy Tale dump Snow and dump Suli. You could dump whatever you want to dump, mill cards, whatever, whatever, right? Curious being banned now is weird because it feels like, it feels late. It legit feels late. We have the Ishizu stuff now. And um, so Curious is a little bit weird, hoping, I'm praying that there's something that like actually hits the tier matchup because like Mystic Mind is a great hit. So this is banned. I'm very excited for this. I know like I don't, I'm not reacting like I usually react, but that's because I already saw this. So I already have like a little predisposition or you know, like I've already calmed down on this stuff, right? But the Mystic Mind being hit is insane. I'm actually really excited about Mystic Mind being hit. This card just means that you can play like decently rogue strategies and actually enjoy the game and not just get hit by a Mystic Mind. It also means that you don't have to lose to a card like this. Like if you're playing Runic Sprite or anything like that, you're not going to be able to just activate a Mystic Mind or even Sky Striker. Just activate a Mystic Mind and be like, ha, sucks to suck, right? This card being banned, finally in the TCG they did it. I'm so excited. This f deserves to be banned. It deserved to be banned a long time ago. Thank God it's been gone. Curious, I think is a little bit weird. Again, Curious is cool. That hit would have made sense a while ago. I don't think it makes sense now, unless there's something else on the ban list that I don't know of. So that is the banned section, okay? So banned, we have the Mystic Mind and the Curious. Okay, let's go into the limited section. Herald of the Orange Light is limited. Oh, is this how they're hitting? I don't know if I like this. Is this how they're hitting the Ishizu stuff with Tear? Um, it's not a bad hit. Hmm. I don't know. It's not a bad hit. I'll be honest. It's not a bad hit. It's not um maybe the hit that I was expecting to happen. Uh, Herald of the Orange Light is okay. Like don't get me wrong, it's a good hit because it just mean it doesn't mean it like it means that they just don't have a negate whenever they want, right? And then they negate, and then I'm pretty sure if they negate, it activates their Shizu effects and like or they can activate their Shizu effects in the graveyard, whatever, whatever. So it's like Herald is a good hit, but at the same time, it required two cards out of your hand. Um, I don't know. That's only one card limited. All right, what's semi-limited? Is anything semi-limited? Okay, interesting. This is whatever, I guess. This being semi-limited is all right. I don't see any reason. Okay, wait, hold up. That means the tier names. There's no tier names hit at all. Actually, okay, like I want the tier names hit. I think the tier names being hit is the most appropriate thing. However, they did say OTS 21 is going to have a tier limits card in it. Um, we don't know what it is, but I guess that's why they don't want to hit the tier names because it could be, I guess, any name at this point. Who knows what they're doing but anyways orange light is limited this being semi-limited is whatever and then we're going for the unlimited section we got Ptolemyus. wait a second yo for anyone who used to play pendulum back in the day you know how powerful Ptolemyus is that's crazy fissures at three fissures at three Tanky's at three school. Macrocosm? Okay, so this is how they hit tier. This is how they hit the tier matchup. They said, you know what? We're not gonna touch tier, but we're gonna make every card that beats tier a three of. That's insane! Three metaverse as well! Oh, actually, okay, wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Okay, metaverse is I. I think metaverse makes a lot more sense because Mystic Mind is gone. Because Myst Met metaverse being at one, well, I think, was the original hit for Mystic Mind. But okay, metaverse is cool. But Fissure and Metaverse at three is insane. Yo, we're playing Border Control, bro. What are you talking about? Fissure at three, Macrocosmo at three? That's insane. Bro, there's no shot. That's sick. Okay. 
I like it. I like it. I like it. Fissure and Macro at three is nice. That's good stuff. All right, I don't mind this. I'm happy with these actually. Fissure and Macrocosmo at three. This is a good unlimited section. Ptolemaeus is going to be spicy. I'm excited for this one. Like Ptolemaeus is going to be really nice. Uh, Fissure and Macro at three. Tanky at three is cool. I guess um, Tri Brigade players are going to like this. Um, but th these are kind of insane low key. Macro and Fissure, bro. That's kind of nice. I'm going to be honest, bro. I'm excited for that one. That This is going to be an interesting format now. This all of a sudden went from being a tier zero format, which don't get me wrong, tier Shizu is still the best deck, okay? There's there's no argument. This ban list does not change the fact that tier Shizu is the best deck. Herald of Orange Light going to one doesn't really do that much. Actually, I've seen some lists. I know some lists, like at the last YCS, um, Jesse was on three, uh, I, Hani was on three. Um, so some people are on three of this, but I remember I think Jesse was talking about some people were on like less of the copies of this because it kind of does break in your hand. It doesn't do anything with the tier monsters. It's only good if you open the Shizu monsters. So uh, this being at one is kind of a hit to tier, but I still think tier is the best deck of the format. However, these two just give me like, like these weird vibes, you know, like I feel like border control, Dyna control, like those decks are going to be prevalent now. Yo Senju, Yo Senju with Fissure and Macro Cosmo. Bro, we have so much content to make. Oh my god. Metaverse being at 3 is cool as well. What are you metaversing into? This is actually not bad for um for ABC lists, I guess. Metaverse being at 3 is actually really nice. You can play uh the ocean uh, dragon stuff, the noodle, you know, like the... Um, forget the fish deck. It's, it's like fish and then it's like um you summon that one water noodle guy that's like, oh, you can only control one non-water monster. It's like a floodgate deck. You can play that as well. This is interesting. I like this. Ptolemaeus. Oh, do I have a Ptolemaeus? I don't even know if I have one. Oh man, it's gonna be so expensive. Ptolemaeus is so important. This is gonna be a really important card. You know what deck is gonna use this card really well? Draco Slayer. Draco Slayer can abuse Ptolemaeus, man. Now you have access to infinity. You literally have access to infinity with any rank four, which is really, really nice. Fissure, Macro, that. That's it. This, okay. Um, You know what? I'm gonna be honest. Now that I'm thinking about it a little bit more, I honestly thought this ban list was kind of mid. Like. Well, no, I was I thought it was mid until this point. This point where I was where I was like, wait, this ban list is kind of crazy, right? Because at first I'm like, okay, Mystic Mind being banned, thank God. We've needed that card banned for so long. But it's kind of one of those things where it's like, okay, Mystic Mind's banned, we've all been asking for it. Thank you. Finally happened, right? Curious again, I thought Curious was a weird one. I think Harold's a weird one as well. Like it's a it's a hit, I guess you could say it's a hit. Um to tier, but it's not a direct hit to tier. I don't think it's going to stop them really from doing what they want to do. It's not like a consistent... The thing is, it's not a consistency card they're hitting. What they're hitting, I guess, is more of a defensive card for tier. So maybe that's kind of like their way of going about it right now where they're like, hey, let's make tier a little bit more glass cannon, you know? So maybe Herald of the Orange Light going to one is actually going to have a big impact. I don't think at the moment it's going to have a big impact. Like off the top of my head, I don't think this going to one. I think people are still going to play the one and... um and they have more spots to just fill in with other things, I guess. So it's not like, I don't think this is like going to be the end of the world for tier. I still think tier is going to be the best deck. This is interesting coming back to two, I guess. Um, I guess bird up. Oh, bird up actually gets a little bit better with recital starling. And then tanky is now a little bit at threes makes it a little bit better. So that's not bad. Fissure and macro at three, bro. I'm playing border control and Ptolemy is coming back to three. Ptolemy didn't matter if it was at zero, but Ptolemy is being at zero or three doesn't matter. Like if you, you're only ever going to play one. So this, this is a, this is good. Everything was okay. Mystic Mind was good. Everything else was all right. But this right here is good. I'm, this is, I'm excited. December 1st too, eh? Uh, they said due to the upcoming holiday in the US, we're posting a little sooner than usual. Okay, that makes sense because it has, uh, yeah, this is a pretty short list or the, we've only, like the October ban list was what? October, November. That's it. December, we're going back to this one. So uh, we hope everyone enjoys the start of the holiday season. I think this is cool. Let me see what the comments say. Not a single Shizu hit. Uh, see, I think people are um, talking about this. I think this is a thing that's going to be talked about the most. However, I think Fissure and Macro to 3 is essentially how they're hitting tier. Where it's like, hey, the tier limit stuff just came out. The Shizu stuff just came out. We don't want to hit those cards or the names directly. We're also giving a tier limit an ultimate rare in the OTS 21. Uh, maybe even give a super rare to like something like Havanus. Uh, so why would we hit the names, right? So I think that's Konami's way of doing it. And I honestly think that makes perfect sense. Even though, don't get me wrong, I don't want to be in a tier 0 format. Uh, I mean, like tier as in tier limit zero format. I don't want to be in tier zero format, but Fissure at three, Macrocosmo at three, Ptolemy is coming back. 
this is insane. I'm actually really excited for this band list. I, I, I don't know. I actually am really excited. So I don't want to take up too much of your time. Yo, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I also just uploaded a Doodle Dino deck profile. It's on the channel already right now. So you guys check out the Doodle Dino deck profile. Um, and I guess it doesn't, the band list doesn't really affect it because it's still just, you know, Doodle Beasts and Dinos. The deck's really cool. Check that out. Subscribe to the channel. Lots of content coming soon because we have a lot to do. Oh, border control, baby. Let's go. All right. Thank you guys all for watching. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace. Oh, baby.